Hey, what's up guys? It's James and this is Roman Art. So before I started this painting, I recently watched this movie called The Aeronaut on Amazon Prime and I was just really impressed with the art direction and beautiful scene. So I highly recommend that for any one of you who would appreciate like just a beautiful stunning landscape scene or, or just how, how they show the sky and its different hues and the lighting. It's just beautiful. So and that inspired me and therefore I started to paint a similar image from the movie and used a photo reference as well. So this time I went straight to colouring and blocked in different hues that I see on the sky. I also made sure that I had established the light source, which in this case it's coming from the right side. Now after the base colours of the background have been established, I introduced the subject, which is a hot air balloon. I used a circle marquee tool to create a perfect round shape for the balloon, then used the transform tool to warp the lower ends of that circle to the shape I wanted. Because, you know, it's a balloon, so it's generally it's pulling from under because it's carrying the basket. So after I've established or created that balloon shape, I then drew the basket which carries the passenger and at the later part of the painting I added in the rigging cable that holds both pieces together. From the round shape of the balloon and the drawn basket, I made sure to establish where the light hits from the main source in the painting. So since the main source or lighting is from the right side of the sky or, or yeah, the whole sky, then it certainly will hit the right side of the balloon as well and then casting a bit of shadows on the left side.
after everything is established, I begin rendering. And this is a lot of fun to add random shapes, textures, and colors of the clouds underneath the balloon. The sky as well, it's just really fun and therapeutic. So now I've just been practicing clouds using different photo references and I highly recommend it. This gave me a good grasp on how clouds are influenced by light and also different types in their shapes. So it's a little bit of a science like learning like basic science from before where you had to learn the stratus clouds, the, the nimbus clouds and, and so on. So it's really fun and I'd highly recommend you guys to just get back to reviewing what you learned back in the day and just try and paint more of these. It'll definitely hurt. So hope you guys like this video. I certainly enjoy landscape paintings and would work on them more in the future. Have a great weekend guys and until next time. Bye.